Well, good morning to you. Happy Monday, man. I hope you had a great week. Uh, I had a really busy week. Sorry that we didn't get a chance to pray on Thursday or Friday. It was super hectic for me. But this week, we are going to pray Monday and Thursday. So we're going to pray tonight and Thursday night. I'll post it so you guys are aware and able to mark your calendar. So this week, our prayer nights will be Monday and Thursday. And and I just want to encourage you today in the Lord. I feel like God has a word right for your heart today. I want to read to you from Isaiah 42, starting at verse 16. Isaiah 42, verse 16. It says, I will bring the blind by a way they do not know. I will lead them in the path that they have not gone. I will make darkness light before them, the crooked places straight. These things I will do for them and not forsake them. You know, it's so funny. We're in 2020. And at the beginning of the year, everyone was like, I want 2020 vision in 2020, right? That was the statement at every church. Everyone was talking about 2020 vision in 2020. And all that we have had in 2020 is being blindsided. Blindsided. Literally, like last week, there were reports of sandstorms where people couldn't see. And I said, how um, symbolic of the year. You have no idea what's coming. I put up a post on my Instagram uh, it was a funny post. It's a woman kneeling and she's looking um, down the road and she goes, I just want to see what chapter in the book of Revelation we're going to act out today. But that's what it feels like. That's what this year has felt like. We feel blindsided. And this is the deal, child of God, is that life is always going to blindside you. This is a this is severe, but at the end of the day, we are truly blind without God. And God is saying, you who feel blind, I'm going to take you by the way. I'm going to take you, brother, that you do not know. I'm going to make the path in front of you straight. You cannot see. I'm going to take you away you don't know. I'm going to make, and as you're walking, this is the key. As you're walking, the path that is crooked, I'm going to make straight, says the Lord. I will do this for you, and I will not forsake you. And the word forsake literally means I will not cease to care for you. And I want to encourage you, child of God, I understand that things look messy. I understand that we can't see and we don't know. And every day is a new headline. And this is the deal. We can't get caught up in that. Those things cause us to lose our minds. The Bible is clear. We might feel blind, but it's okay. We have a God that can see. We have a God who's able to understand and predict the future. I can't predict the future. You can't predict the future. He can. And he's saying, you who are blind. I'm going to lead you. I'm going to take you through a place that you don't know. I'm even going to make the crooked way in front of you straight. I'm going to straighten it out for you. And I'm going to cause you to walk. Why? Because I love you. He's even saying in this verse that he will make the darkest place light. And I don't know how many of you feel like you're in a dark place with everything that's going on. You might feel emotionally drained and beat up and tired. And it just feels dark around you. And God is saying, child, don't, don't give in to that. I produce light in the darkness. I am able to bring light in the darkest place. I just need you to trust me. I just need you to reach out. I just need you to know that I am with you. I will not forsake it. We are never forsaken. God is always for us. And in this verse, he is assuring us. He's making clear us. I will bring the blind by the way they do not know. I will lead them in the path that they have not gone. I will make darkness light before them. And crooked places straight. These things I will do for them and not forsake them. Listen, child, I want you to say something about God. God is a creative God. And what does that mean? Is that God is able to create things in the midst of this. So there is darkness, and in the midst of darkness, God can create light. There is crooked places. In the midst of it, God can make it straight. There are, are seemingly un- places you can't function in. And God says, I got this. We serve a creative God who is able to produce great things from very dark places. And so my question to you, child of God, is if you are feeling blind, are you grabbing the hands of the one who can see everything? If you are feeling like you're on a crooked road, are you holding the hand of the only person that could make that crooked way straight? If you're sitting in the midst of darkness, are you grabbing hands with the person, the only person that can make it light? The only one that will never forsake you. You are never forsaken, child of God. And so understand today 
that even if we don't have 2020 vision in 2020, we have a God who has beyond 2020 vision, who makes the crooked way straight and brings light into the darkness. He takes the people that are blind, that can't see through ways that they don't know victoriously. Why? He will do these things because he will not forsake us. He is our God and he cares for his children. You are never forsaken. And so, Father, I thank you today, God, that even though it feels like we're walking through a sandstorm and we can't see, we thank you, Lord God, that you lead even the blind by their hands, Lord God. And so, Father, we extend our hands today to you, God. We ask you to lead us by your spirit. Lead us by your voice. Lead us, my God, through the path that's in front of us. Make the crooked way straight for everyone that's on this prayer line today, Lord God. Everyone that's doing Monday Manna today. Make the crooked way in front of them straight in Jesus' name. Bring light into the midst of their darkness, Lord God. Cause the blind to walk with confidence, knowing that they don't have to see it's good enough that you can see. And Lord, if anyone today feels forsaken, may your overwhelming love cover them today to know that you care for your children. You are intricately involved in their life. Lord, we dedicate ourselves to you and to your word and to your purposes. We surrender our life to you, my God. And we say, we are yours. And we thank you that you do these things so that we know we are not forsaken. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Have a great week, everybody. I'll see you tonight for prayer. Love you all so much.